Okay, so I wanted to give you a verbal um, kind of uh, overview of the uh, final project. And um, now you know uh, you've already posted a dozen questions in the discussion board, and um, you can draw from each other's questions. I think the one recommendation that I would have, uh, you all had good questions. There wasn't anything wrong with them. Keep the questions open-ended. Um, you'll be asking more than 12, but hopefully being open-ended questions, you can add follow-up questions to add more depth. You can um, ask different questions as uh, the assessment progresses. Yes, it should be professional, but you should also be able to have more of a dialogue with the person you are interviewing. And um, I think my, my number one suggestion would be to make sure that uh, you have in the back of your mind that you have to write up a professional assessment and you have to apply a number of the theories that we have discussed this semester, whether it be Piaget with early age or Erickson or Freud. Uh, it would, doesn't have to be a stage theory. It could be Bronfenbrenner or Vygotsky. It could be any theory we've talked about, but not just one theory. Uh, Different theories are good for different ages. And um, so I want you to use multiple theories. I want you to present this as a professional assessment um, so that you can, um, you know, refer to theories and use uh, the correct terminology and um, vocabulary so that as you move through this individual's life, you can really begin to put together all of the pieces and, um, you know, both the struggles and, uh, you know, uh, and, and them being able to overcome obstacles. Um, I always ask the client, um, is there something you would like to share with me um, that I haven't asked about that you feel is important for me to better understand you uh, as a person? So I, I give them a very open-ended question and let them share anything they want with me at the end. Um, so uh, I'm going to share uh, my screen and we'll just go over the um, the requirements. Okay, so you should see developmental case study. This is a summative activity. This is the activity. Oh, and when you discuss the person that you assessed, keep it anonymous. You could use a first name, but we don't want to be able to identify this individual personally. We want to keep it confidential. We want to up, be able to up, have all the students upload their final papers here um, to their portfolios. So, um, so keep it anonymous. You can change the name if needed. So summative activity for this course is the construction of a developmental case study. DCS. The developmental case study differs from a typical case study in that it is focused on examining a client's level of functioning and development. This is different than a DSM assessment or case study. So yes, it's different. You're not going to make a diagnosis unless they bring up a diagnosis. Then you can discuss how it impacted their development. Um, but it's developmentally focused. Now, you're going to be able to, by the end of this degree, you'll be able to do a developmental uh, case study. You'll be able to do 
an assessment for a diagnosis. You'll be able to do a career assessment. Um, you'll be able to do treatment plans with theoretical approaches. Um, it's all different kinds of assessments that you will be able to bring together later on when you assess a client. But for this class, this is just a developmental assessment. Okay, so um, thorough, DC, thorough DCS examines the following. Uh, early childhood, physical, psychosocial development, attachment, moral development, self-esteem, self-image, types of intelligence, multiple intelligence, emotional intelligence, life stages, vocational development, that includes um, academics, relationships and socio-emotional development, culture, um, and much more. Go through the notes, go through everything we've talked about so far and uh, try to make this as comprehensive as possible. Um, it should include a pre-interview questionnaire, ascertain childhood developmental milestones and noted impediments to achieving milestones used to shape the initial stages of the developmental history. You can, you can do multiple interviews. You can give them a questionnaire. You don't have to, uh, not for this assignment, um, but, uh, but we just need this information. An interview that develops themes identified from the pre-interview questionnaire and other resources. Um, we did not have time to develop a pre-interview questionnaire, but, um, but you can cover all of this in one or two interviews. Comprehensive written developmental history that evaluates the client's development against standard models of development. An overall summary of the client's current level of functioning that includes a discussion of the interactions between the various models of development utilized. Each student will develop his or her own case study by conducting interviews with a client throughout the semester, using the open-ended questions generated via the reading assignments and classroom activities, students will conduct interviews with their clients to gain a greater understanding of the individual's development, how the themes discussed in class play out in real life and impact on the individual's development. The data gained in the interviews will also enable the students to make a developmental assessment and gain a clearer understanding of the client. So think about uh, if you were working for a school or an agency and your job was to assess the client's development from a psychological, uh, emotional, social, physical, uh, all of those domains, and I outlined some of these in your responses to, in my response to your uh, questions. So you can kind of look at my feedback, and there should be um, kind of a list of things to include in that feedback. Um, so efforts should be made to avoid dual relationships in the assi assignment. Uh, the assignment is to be six to eight pages, eight pages including title and reference page, six pages content, APA, 12-pitch font, using logical headings and subheadings. Please cite and reference a minimum of four professional references from published journals or books when applying theory. Do not reference textbooks or web pages. Go to the original sources. The client should only be identified by their first name unless idiosyncratic. So go to the library online. Look at professional journals or uh, use books from PDFs. 
uh, and download them, but don't quote textbooks. Don't look at web pages. Professional journals are professional books, not textbooks, not web pages, things like that. Go to the library online as you're discussing the different theories and applying them to your client's development. Cite a few references throughout your paper. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please email me. Be detailed in this assignment. Thanks.